Well, Kenny, where do you start, or more appropriately, where do you end with that? I mean, that's why we love football. Yeah, it was a great game, and the atmosphere in the ground was was fantastic. You know, typical Fratton Park. It it built up towards a you know a fantastic crescendo. Uh, you know, a mad last 15 minutes, definitely. But uh, credit to my to my players because you know, over the course of the game, I thought we deserved to win. I thought we played well. Um, it did look at different stages like it wasn't going to be our night. And um, you know we were on top, particularly in the second half, where you know we had chance after chance after chance that either didn't fall for us, we didn't take it, or, or, or as I said, you know when they when they broke and got the first, broke and got the second, I did think that uh, for all of our effort and, and a lot of good play, it didn't look like it was going to be our night one way or another. We persevered anyway, scored some good goals uh, for, for Marcus Harness. You know, really pleased with him getting one in between the posts and the tappings is. He's good and he can get the spectacular ones, but he has to get the bread and butter ones as well, where, where he's you know six yards out and, and tapping it in, and that's a good one. Uh, McGeehan scored a, a, you know, an excellent goal, probably the, the goal of the night for us, with a terrific strike, and he's capable of that coming from midfield. But then you know, for John arriving late from a, a, slight, a slightly deeper role uh, in the second half, He's got a great winner, so you know some quality there, as as, as well as you know an, an overall good team performance that deserved the win. Uh, great to see the type of atmosphere at Fratton Park at the end, and um, you know for us anyway. Now it's a quick turnover now. We're back to the league, but we're okay with that, and um, uh, make sure we have no knocks. Uh, get up to Fleetwood and see if we can keep this run going. One of those nights under the lights that will go down in folklore history. Yeah, it was. It was a great atmosphere towards the end. Uh, good entertainment and, and I've got to say you know n no lack of quality either and, and scoring three goals like that and created many other chances. Three goals were all quality if you look at them. Yeah they were and re re really pleased with the, with the attitude of the players and I did think overall it was a good performance you know we look a good side at the moment uh, one way or another and you now Ellis coming off and then and then we just sort of overloaded the midfield slightly and needed to just take a chance to open it up a little bit more in the second half and we did that to some degree sometimes on the break it cost us but overall you know we had a lot of chances second half and um, uh, great to see the you know the spirit of the players there uh, giving everything because you know they really did give everything tonight worked really hard uh, deserved the win it's, it's great to to, to uh, have a, a Wembley appearance to look forward to for the for, for the whole squad, um, it doesn't now come around for a couple of months. We won't worry about that. You know, whenever you go to Wembley in, in whatever competition, you have to you, you have to look forward to it. You have to enjoy it. Um, we we go now to up to Fleetwood and, and and in the last let's say almost third of the season in the league, we want to finish really strongly if we can. That is our priority. We also have the Arsenal game in the FA Cup here, which is one to look forward to. But you know, Wembley is Wembley, and we've worked hard to get there. Worked hard tonight. We deserved the win, though. I thought so. Not just once, but twice. You must have thought you weren't going to Wembley. It looked like it wasn't our night, and and in the second half we were on top. Start of the second half, we 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 were playing well, created a lot of chances. And it looked like it either wouldn't fall for us in the box. We couldn't put the the goals away. Uh, keeper made a great save from Hawkins, uh, and um, I, I, I was then, you know, you're wondering down the other end if it's going to cost you. But um, uh, pleased to say, you know, we, we we found a way through. And there were occasions where, yeah, I thought it was going to be Exeter's night and not ours. Um, great perseverance and attitude by the players. Um, you know, really pleased with. Uh, uh, the, the, the atmosphere at the end generated by you know, what, what was a very passionate uh, performance. Credit to the opposition, they stuck, it, uh, they stuck at it. Yeah, they're having a, a really good season, Exeter, and uh, you always wonder as a manager in these competitions whether you should change players or not. I was, you know, I was expecting them to go full strength. Uh, they didn't, uh, but it didn't affect their performance. And as you say, they're having a, you know, a very good season and put on a terrific performance. And you know, their defensive dis display in the second half with uh, a threat on the break was very, very good. Good, and uh, you know, credit to the manager, Matt. You brought Ollie Hawkins on. What was the thinking there? Yeah, I did feel that um, you know we needed his physicality tonight. It was you know, the wind was swirling around a lot. It helped us maybe get the ball down and get the ball into wide areas, which. Uh, uh, um, is a big thing, you know, particularly uh, at our place playing against a back five. Uh, but um, you know, ultimately, then the fullbacks can join in, and uh, we can then, you know, st start to get quality balls in from wide areas, which, you know, to some degree we did, and, and didn't probably get on at the end of enough. But you know, the one that counted was was right at the end for John's finish, and uh, delighted for him to get the winner. 
And Ellis Harrison's limping into the distance. What can you tell us about yeah, him? He has a dead leg. We don't know how he'll be for the weekend. It's not too bad, though. You know, we're, we're, we're optimistic that he'll be OK for the weekend. We're hopeful and um, we don't have any other knocks. So, you know, we have to make sure that uh, um, we get ourselves ready now for a massive game at the weekend. Look forward.